Curacao Africans, I loved Curacao. Curacao, I can't wait to come back. Bonaire, I can't wait to come back. When I released the For Sisters Only book, when I released the For Sisters Only book, when I released the For Sisters Only book, we're going to have to come back to Curacao and Bonaire, Aruba, and do the For Sisters Only seminar. I got to do the For Sisters Only seminar in the Dutch West Indies. Got to do the For Sisters Only seminar. This is a sick Negro. Salam alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. The arrested development in the black community is well noted and publicized. We're the only people that are not immigrants in the West, so we didn't choose to be here. And we've been building wealth for other people groups since Europeans colonized Africa in our arrival in the West. It was illegal for us to read, write, and organize for centuries. All of our organizations since the civil rights movement have been doing work for white Western economic, political, and social interest and parties since all of our grassroots leaders were murdered or organizations dismantled in the 60s and 70s and some even in the 80s. So this now has led to, in modern times, a flow of what I call Hotep hustlers, a group of people who venture into black consciousness for profit without actually doing anything of substance for the black community. One of the more savvy individuals from among them is Dr. Omar Johnson. He's very intelligent, articulate, charismatic, and is able to make a living just on being that. Much of what he says is fact-based, and much of what he does is pookie and ray ray based So recently, he came under fire for some of his opinions that he expressed. Here's the, here's the question. Because the argument y'all make... Yeah feeds into the feminist agenda. Okay. It's mm. an argument that says, I don't want the responsibility. I'm a leader. I don't want to fix shit. Yeah. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to fall back and let her run everything. That's what the feminists tell. They say, look at them, making excuses for why they can't be better men, making excuses for why they can't make better men. You understand? Mm. Your argument feeds the feminist narrative. That's, not, that's not what we're making that's excuses not, for. We're not, I'm we, saying I am the better man, but yeah. I shouldn't be held responsible because you wanted to choose a pookie and a ray ray. That's not me. I work too hard in my life. I'm going to go back to what I said. Pookie and Ray Ray shouldn't exist. And the only reason why Pookie, Pookie and Ray Ray exist because we're not in the community making those boys the men they need to be. Do you All see right. that? And, she don't um, get a Pookie if you didn't allow a Pookie. But she right. got an Eli. She ain't come to Eli. She went to Pookie. And that's what we're trying to <laughs> She wouldn't have had a Pookie if we didn't allow one. I worked too hard in my life. Right. She wouldn't have had a Pookie if we didn't but, allow one. So you heard it from Dr. Omar himself that black men not taking the responsibility of taking care of these black women and their poor choices and not becoming better men this is part of the feminist agenda but let's hear from him directly from his own mouth of why he is not married <laughs> if you love us so much why are you still single i'm gonna answer your question sister the sister asked me if I love black queens so much. She said, if you love black queens so much, why are you still yeah. single? I'm going to tell you why. Number one is revolution over romance. Stop the cow. I got schools to build. I got a pan-African liberation movement. I got the Bishop Turner National Independent Black Political Movement. I got the National Independent Black Parent Association. I got the Shockumentary docu-series coming up. I'm working, sister. Stop the cow. It's revolution over the romance. It is politics over the Punani. Oh, my God. This man is absolutely ludicrous sometimes. He is no Malcolm X, nowhere near Malcolm X, nowhere near Martin Luther King, but yet both Martin Luther King and Malcolm X got married and had children. But he is talking about he's putting politics before Punani. No, it's actually the opposite, but I digress. Let's keep watching. So the first reason I'm single is I'm still putting in that grassroots work. That's number one. Number two, number two, a lot of y'all sisters, y'all don't do no work for the people. I'ma just keep it real. Even the woke sisters, 
Even the woke sisters, y'all don't really be putting in no work for the people. Do you feel me? What are you doing to serve the people? Because you should be serving the people before you look to become my wife. You should be serving the people before you look to become my wife. So are you serving the people? Or you just want to be with a prominent personality? Okay? Because I'm not Amtrak. I'm not taking you nowhere. I'm not Greyhound. You're not getting on this bus and driving it nowhere. Are you serving the people, my sister? You know what else? A lot of y'all suffer from the feminist virus. A lot of sisters, even the conscious sisters, even the conscious sisters, a lot of y'all have the white feminist virus. You don't respect black men. You can't take leadership from black men. Some of you have a, a grudge against black men, not most sisters. But a lot of you got that feminism real bad. I'm not putting up with it. Eh, here's, the, here's the question. Because the argument y'all make yeah. feeds into the feminist agenda. Okay. It's mm -hmm. an argument that says, I don't want the responsibility. I'm a leader I don't want to fix though. shit. Yeah. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to fall back. You can't take leadership from black men. Some of you have a, a grudge against black men. Not most sisters. But a lot of you got that feminism real bad. I'm not putting up with it. I'm a fall back. I'm not putting up with it. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump.